Governor Tony Evers is set to deliver a statewide address on COVID-19 tonight. This will be his first primetime address as governor. The announcement comes as Wisconsin is reporting another record number of new COVID-19 cases. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin joins us now with what we can expect to hear tonight. Emily? The governor's speech tonight will center around unity with plans to call on everyone to come together to get the virus under control. He will also highlight what could happen if the current trajectory doesn't slow down, estimating thousands more lives will be lost. The governor's office released some excerpts of the speech tonight. He says if no further actions are taken to control the spread, estimates show another 2,500 people could die from COVID by New Year's Day. The governor's also goes on to say each day the virus is not top of mind. It is a setback for economic recovery. The surges we see, the new cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. These are not foregone conclusions. They are predictable and preventable. This means the fight against the virus is winnable, but only if we fight it together. I spoke to Assistant Minority Leader Representative Diane Hesselbein earlier in the day, who is hoping the governor's speech tonight will be a wake-up call for Wisconsinites to do everything we can to stay safe and to stay healthy and not to have everybody uh, flooding our hospital rooms and our the COVID beds and the doctors and the nurses are exhausted. We all have to do what we can. Right now, there is no statewide plan in place to contain the spread of COVID-19. Nearly every order enacted by the Evers administration has been challenged by Republicans or struck down in the courts. In the excerpts we were given, it does not reveal any plans or new restrictions Governor Evers plans to take. 